hey guys on this channel i have loads of videos where i go through a whole paper in an hour or two hours or the whole of gcse maths in two hours but what is the best way that you can revise from those videos So loads of you just use those videos right before the exam and they are great for that. They are brilliant for last minute revision to remind you of everything but you can use it for a lot more as well. To go with the videos there is a free revision guide which you can download from my website. Now what I suggest you start with is reading through all the statements for a particular unit and colouring in the first column. How well do I know this part of this and just colouring the smiley faces to see then watch the video and make your own notes from it. It is basically making your own revision guide because I know you can buy revision guides but reading information, just looking at information in the book isn't going to get the information into your brain, isn't going to get information into your long-term memory and that's why we need it if we want to be able to take it from your long-term memory and put it onto an exam paper. A really great way to get it into your long-term memory is to make notes. So watch the little bit of video, make notes from it, go and check your revision guide. Is there anything that they see different in there? It's probably not going to be. But they might have a different example or they might phrase things in a slightly different way so you can add to the notes from the video and then go through and do it. And yes, it's going to take you a long time to make notes on the whole of GCSE Maths and it's going to take longer than the two hour video. But this is a brilliant, brilliant way to revise. It is a brilliant way to get the information into your head. And then once you've done that, you can practice the things that you've learned from the video. So you can practice it in the papers that I've written for you and the multiple choice questions I've written for you or the loads of workbooks that I've written for you. And then put it aside and do a different subject. Now I'm not saying do the whole of GCSE Maths, the whole video, the whole of Biology Paper 1, the whole thing in one go because that is a lot of sitting down in one place. Just watch 20 minutes and make notes on those 20 minutes and then you know, what What I've seen loads of people do which is really really helpful is leave themselves a little timestamp in the comments. And then if you put the timestamp in the right format, you can just click on that and it'll take you back to exactly the place that you were before. So that you can just do a little bit by little bit by little bit. Do 15 minutes, timestamp, go back, do another 15 minutes, mark in the original guide where you got up to. How do you feel about these bits now? Try making some flashcards, try making a mind map from it. So there were lots of different things you can use together. Just sitting there reading a revision guide or just sitting there watching a video is not the best way to do it. It's brilliant just before the exam to refresh everything, to bring things from your long-term memory, to, to refresh things, to check that you can go over things. But you can use this as more long-term revision as well. So there are loads and loads of videos that I have up there already for you. Science, Maths, AQA, LXL, there's IGCSEs coming as well, there's OCR coming as well, there's Geography coming and there's going to be a levels coming um, very, very soon. So good luck guys, um, the exams are coming up quickly, um, we have a lot to do but I'm trying to provide you with as many different ways as I can to help you. So the free revision guides, the whole topic videos, the more detailed videos where I spend like 20 minutes adding fractions together because this is a really important skill that you need to know. The flashcards, the past papers, the multiple choice questions that I've written for you, there are loads and loads of different ways to revise. It's not just one fixed way that you have to do it and I just want to be able to easily provide you with loads of different ways for you to get to that information. So good luck guys, um, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too grim.